Hey guys, welcome to module three. So we're going to be adding in the inputs necessary in our user interface to add in for our calculator buttons. So the first text that we're going to need to create is our numeric button text. And our next one after this is our operator button text, which is just going to be our multiplication and divide. And our advanced button text which is going to be our trigger functions and our inverse functions in our calculator. So pretty much this is going to be a helper class as we continue developing for our calculator app. The first thing we're going to need to do before we create our views for our buttons, for our numeric buttons, our operator buttons, our advanced buttons, we are going to need to create a class that contains all the text we need for those. So we're going to get started on that now. So we're just going to remove this um, my class file since we don't need it. We're going to create a new folder. And we're going to name this buttons text. And we're going to add a new file. We're going to have it be an empty class and we're going to name it numeric button text. So we're going to make this into a static class. and we don't need this constructor and we're just going to add all the buttons we will need on our number pad for our calculator So we're only going to need numbers zero through nine. And we're going to need a decimal. Following the same format as our numeric button, we are going to create our operator button text. So we're going to add a new file here. It's going to be an empty class. We're going to name this operator button text. create a new file this is also going to be static and we don't need this constructor and in our operator button text we're going to need to delete addition subtraction divide multiply and an equal sign 
All right, let's get started. So for the rest of our operator buttons, we're going to be using a Unicode escape sequence. So this Unicode escape sequence is going to be a backslash U2212. So that's a minus sign. And a divide symbol is going to be a backslash U, zero, zero, capital F, seven. And for multiply, it's going to be a backslash U, zero, zero, capital D, seven. The last button text file we're going to need to create is our advanced button text. So we're going to add a new file. This is going to be empty class and we're going to name this advanced button text. We're going to remove this constructor. So we're going to make this into a static class. It's time for us to finish up our advanced button text and add all the constant strings we're going to need.
Now it's time for us to add our special characters and our inverse characters. And to do this, we're going to need Unicode again. So let's get started. So sign has a inverse sign has a exponent of negative one after it. So we're just going to type out sign and we're going to use the Unicode escape sequence backslash U two zero cap seven capital B. And we're going to follow that by a one. That's going to be a minus sign. And we're going to follow it by one. So that's going to be a backslash U zero zero B nine. And we're going to need to do this for our inverse cosine and inverse tan. I'm just going to copy and paste it in and inverse tan. And control V. Now it's time for our inverse LN, which is an E with an exponent of X. That's going to be backslash U zero two capital E three. And we're going to need a inverse log, which is a 10 with an exponent of X. So that's going to be backslash U zero two capital E three. Now we're going to need our pi. And this is equal to backslash U zero three capital C zero. And our square root, which is backslash U two two one capital A and we're going to need a squared superscript and the reason why we need this is because when the user inputs this into the calculator we're not going to input the whole the whole button that they press which is going to be x to the power of 2 so we're going to need a way to identify that the user is looking to square their input And this is a backslash U zero zero capital B two. And we're going to need our squared button, which is an X with the escape sequence of backslash U zero zero B two. Now that we have all our Unicode escape sequences in, now we could clean up this code. 
So this could be simplified into just adding a plus sign and our squared superscript. And we could also do this here as well with the inverse ln and inverse log. So we're going to name this constant string x exponent. We're going to set it equal to that escape sequence here. And we also could just use E plus. And we also go do this here as well. So we're going to name this, we're going to name it a constant string, keep it private. And we're going to name this inverse exponent. We're going to set it equal to this escape sequence. And we're going to just sign plus inverse exponent. And we can just do this throughout. And that's one way we could clean up our code. Also, let's not forget to add our backslash here. So I know this is a Unicode character.